Wait, are we yeah. taping right now? Or no? Okay. Yeah. What are you doing tonight? Yeah. Turn it up, KB. All right, check, check. Is that better? Yeah. Welcome to the open mic at Gaslight tonight, folks. I'm Gavin. I will be hosting for you. I'm going to play a few songs, and then we will get to all the talent that is here. I'm Colleen Bunton. I'm Dean Duhart, and I'm her dad. <laughs> and we are Duhart. <laughs> um, so JB and I had connected through Mutual Friends, the initiative I work for, STL Live. I was interested in recording original music. I wanted to see how I could you know, partner with Gaslight, help them promote original music, and kind of get involved here in exchange for some studio time, because I was broke. Um, so thankfully, JB is a huge music supporter, and he obviously helped create this place. Uh, so we partnered, saw the need for um, an open mic night on a Sunday. It blew up a lot more than we expected. So the more different artists came through, the more we realized it could continue to grow to be successful if we had rotating hosts. <laughs> Megan Yankowskis, Andrew Dahl of Andrew and the Dolls. Jorge Valcarcel. Tim Levy, Gaslight's very own. That close. Gavin M. That way it kind of branches out to different music groups. And now we host about once a month. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, hello, I'm Kvar Black. My name is Chris Foster. My name is Louie, L-O-U-I-X. Stick with Kvar Black Blues. I've been doing it myself for about three years. I primarily do originals, I'm trying to get out there in the scene, get noticed, trying to play my music. I do stand-up comedy. Uh, I've been going to open mics for about two years now. Uh, I heard about Gaslight, maybe about a year ago. They've been open for about three years. I live in the neighborhood, so I just heard about the open mic, uh, coming here regularly, and uh, and then, you know, various people started talking about it as well. So just sort of word of mouth thing. out about Gaslight while being at another open mic and I met a friend who was a comedian and he suggested that I come to Gaslight because Gaslight is not only a bar but it's also got a recording studio. I mean open mics in general is where I have sort of practiced my craft in general. Um, I went up to one a month after picking up the guitar, which was a crazy thing to do. Um, this opened mic for a long time, several weeks, and it actually paid off. I was able to feature in the showcase that they have here at Gaslight, and it was a really awesome experience. <laughs> I make alcohol for a living in the daytime. Uh, it's a little family business. But we, uh, yeah, at night I'm out here doing open mic. So with comedy for me, I, I don't know that it's going to be a career for me. I think it's something fun to be doing. I've on a couple shows. I uh, got to open for one of my favorite comedians last week. I'm making some moves, but it's definitely, it, it's just a passion. I write about things I love. You take things in your life and you try and make people see the humor in them that you do. and It's fun. So I go to 1860, I go to Joni's, and uh, those are the mixed mics. And then on the comedy side, I do Heavy Anchor, um, Crow's Nest. And I, I dig the mixed music comedy mics because I get to do a lot more time at them. And generally, the crowd isn't expecting to hear comedy, uh, so you get much more of a genuine reaction out of people. in San Diego last. Uh, um, the musical community there is horrible. I, I didn't like it at all. I was there for five years and I would 
I would meet people all the time and they, they wouldn't even remember they met me. I was like a ghost there. It was really weird. I moved here almost instantly with the gaslight and the open mic night here. It was just almost like I was part of the community like almost instantly. So I just uh, happened upon it and it sort of became one of my regular places to go. It's got good bar, good music, good people. I live right down the street from Gaslight. I just randomly picked a spot on the map to move because it's close to my work. And I started coming here on like Friday nights and just drinking actually. And when they decided to do open mic night, I was like, I'm coming all the time. And Colleen and her dad Dean started hosting it and we became really good friends instantly pretty much. Probably because I came like every Sunday, you know. And I met like every single friend that I have in town is from the Gaslight Open Mic Night. It's therapy number one. So open mics are a great place to do that camaraderie I would say and it's a place to experiment. It's a comfortable space, the people are great, the drinks are great, the bar staff is awesome so I, I love it over here at Gaslight. It's made my life good in St. Louis because without a musical community like I feel like empty so. Um, but we, we just want to continue celebrating uh, St. Louis music and really be part of a lot of other artists and bands and singer-songwriters journey as they you know kind of find their themselves and um, music and and what they all strive to be do. the best showcase yeah in be the, the, the area. best open mic best showcase yeah it's really just about local music supporting that don't look don't look <laughs>